Okay, we're here talking with Jamie Sparling from uh, Team Rally, British team, but Jamie uh, is a Canadian, originally Calgary, but now, but now Victoria-based. Um, Jamie, um, you were in the break a uh, long time. First of all, can you tell us a little bit, how did that break start? Because it seemed like there was a lot of attacking, but nothing was sticking, and then finally you guys had a big gap. Totally. It was, I mean, everybody woke up this morning thinking they wanted to be in the breakaway, uh, which is kind of always what happens in the stage, I think. It, it always takes a while. So, I mean, I, I, I wanted to be in the breakaway super bad today. We have uh, no sprinters here. Um, so we obviously had to try to put someone in a breakaway if we wanted a result. And, uh, yeah, eventually it just finally went over one of the climbs. I think everyone finally was sick of trying to get in these breakaways. And uh, I was a little bit worried because it was only three of us. Uh, but in the end, it didn't really seem to matter, I guess. So how was it working out there? It looked like you guys were actually working pretty well together and uh, the rain stopped uh, pretty much just as the race was starting, so it was drying up. So was it, was it fine out there? Yeah, it was all right. Uh, in, for the most part, kind of until the last 25 kilometers, we all worked super well together. No one was skipping turns or anything and everyone was taking their, uh, yeah, everyone was doing their fair share. And then in the last 25 kilometers, it was pretty much the Craig Lewis show and I, I, I helped him as much as I could. Um, but man, that guy was just absolutely giving her. He was, it was, he was like a motorcycle. <laughs> it was like motor pacing, like you know, <laughs> it was unreal. So, so uh, yeah, I, know, I helped him where I could on the downhills for sure. Like I'm a bigger guy and stuff, so I can kind of go down them a little bit faster. But um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, so the brake brake did work well together, I guess. Now you came in to start the circuits in Tetford Mines with about a minute. Um, <clears throat> Were you at that point, were you feeling a little more confident you guys were going to stay away or because there were only two of you left at that point? Or did you think this is still pretty dicey, they may catch us? Uh, well, I have been, I've come into this uh, finish with four of us with about the same time gap in 2010. And we, we got caught for sure. So I, I didn't think we were going to make it still. I didn't think we were going to make it till the last lap. I think it, the gap went back up to about 58 seconds. And I thought, oh, holy, we're, we're actually going to do this. But I was quite pessimistic in, until that last three kilometers, to be honest. But uh yeah, I had to fight to the bitter end, really, so, and it ended up working out. Now, I'm assuming this is your best boast result. I mean, how important is it for you to be able, I mean, you spend a lot of your time racing in, in England now, but how important is it to be able to do well here at Bose? Uh Super, super important. Man, uh, Bose is, this is my fifth time doing Bose, and I really love it, and um, yeah, uh, it's awesome, man. It's a, it, for a Canadian cyclist, to be on the podium at Bose is, is totally like a, it's something I'll remember forever for sure. And yeah, it's, it ranks right up there, definitely, for one of my best results ever, I would say. Yeah, well, you just took my, my next question, which was going to be, how does this rank? But obviously, um, it is good. So um, tomorrow, Megantic, um, totally different stage. I, I assume that you're not planning on trying anything there? No, definitely not. I'll save it, try to get a, in a breakaway in the, one of the circuit races. And um, other than that, just try to support. We've got to still a few guys, I think, in the top 10, maybe, or, yeah, top 10 that were in the front group yesterday that didn't lose any time today that will go well on Megantic, I think. So try to support them as best as I can and, and then, uh, yeah, be a little bit more selfish in the, in the circuit races. Okay, well, again, congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot, Rob. Cheers.